this is the result the location for the center line in here location for the ETW is end of asphalt in here the daylight on the left side at the field is in here then in the right side uh, we have uh, ETW hello welcome back to Prabha Engineering channel uh, in this series of video, uh, I want to create some reports. The report is necessary for the surveyor, the surveyor to take a stick out on the side. So they need a direction from the drawing to fulfill in the survey instrument. Uh, there are some uh, requirements with the distance and there is uh, also need for the coordinate too. So I want to give you two ways how to uh, create output from the cross section. Uh, in distance and in uh, coordinate this is uh, how it works this is the drawing of cross section and we have a surface for the top and I want to every fabric in here in here there is a coordinate so uh, on the side uh, they will make it easy to direct uh, for the worker so on the side it's very easy to direct the worker on create the job on the side first uh, you need to create surface design surface design is uh, creating by the corridor this is that what i call surface design this is the surface existing the surface design is covering up the corridor uh, we can create the surface design in the top or in the bottom or in the middle based on your necessity but in this case i want to create by the top uh, of the corridor so i collect some of the uh, code in here and then i create uh, become from the left to the right and the creation of the, the surface corridor is in here corridor properties by surface then top then you need to add a code top and then okay don't uh, forget to at the boundary it's already done after this one you can open the tool space and go to the toolbox after that one there is two report manager and miscellaneous utilities go to miscellaneous utilities go to the corridor we have a report in here go, go to corridor and open go to slope stake report and right click and execute this is how we can uh, see field report for cross section based on the distance. This is the alignment, and then this is the sample line. This uh, work is based on the sample line. Uh, before you want to create how many, uh, how interval do you want? You need to uh, prepare for the sample line. You can create some one, two, or three sample line by section. Create sample line in here, and add more if you don't uh, convert with twenty five. You can change it or you can add this is every 25 if you want to add just create sample line you can type every five meter okay just you can go to here you can change okay done then enter so in here uh, the drawing is uh, still looks like 25 but there is two option we have a 25 and 50 let's take a look in here execute then we can choose which one you want to create the corridor point which one do you want to choose the corridor point every 25 or empty or every 50 meter depend on your necessity and this is the then go to station select corridor so you can choose top if you want to the drawing all in the top then add in here which station you want if you, this is the start and end if you want to customize only in the couple location you can edit this in here okay even though you want to start not in the station zero you can modify in here then go to display right or ways you can change by the daylight then you can uh, prepare the document in Excel or in Word or in TXT, it's no problem. The report for 
cross section save create report by the moment so this is the result of the report now we have illustration in here you can make a bigger if you want this is the result the location for the center line in here location for the ETW is end of aspal in here the daylight on the left side and the fill is in here then in the right side uh, we have uh, ETW in here and the most right is uh, daylight cut this is here Uh, they are mentioned uh, 7.9 there are mentioned to in here okay, this is very cool almost complete for coordinate we go to here we open the report and go to the point report manager and go to corridor and then click on the section point report and right click in here uh, this is all of the code in here we don't want uh, this point show we only uh, get for the top location only so when we have a code we can uh, uncheck the other one until the another location they like they like the liquid is okay this in this out is okay etw okay but uh, the below surface we can uncheck playing okay then flow line it's no problem and backup it's okay every which one do you want 50 or 25 it's depend on your necessity and CPU report uh, you can go by HTML or you can change and switch to the other format like Word or Excel okay I just let it by the uh, HTML create report okay wait a moment okay this one very nice report uh, we have XYZ and offset offset and then uh, this is a turn from the left to the right so the point is very regular and then this is the description we can copy or you can directly uh, go to the Excel format this one X Y and Z offset and description then we want to check the station around 50 in here we want to check back on the drawing this is correct or not by data go to formula and concatenate to we can merge uh, this x y and z This is A, Y, and Z uh, become one column, and I copy to the top. This is start from the left to the right. This is left. This is the center line in crown, and then this is the right one. And then we copy. We want to check on the drawing. This is correct or not? Go to common line and then uh, type 3D poly. Then click in here. Right click to paste wait a moment this one you see okay just escape and the station 50 we go to station 50 and here the drawing should be looks like the red line let me check the object and object viewer this one This is the 3D poly and uh, already same with the cross-section result. So this is the point we, you can uh, import again to the civil 3D uh, to control and you can uh, bring to the survey instrument to create the stakeout on the side. 
Okay, have a nice time. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.